is Chris Mitchell. I want to talk to you today about a crescent moon that we saw this morning. Uh, I want to start with this uh, video uh, right here. It is April 2nd, 2016. Here's the sun coming out and uh, coming up in the east. It's 7.50 a.m. Eastern Time. We're near Columbus, Georgia. There is the crescent moon in the southeast crescent moon southeast right over here is the sun coming up in the east right over here in the southeast is the moon the crescent moon so look at the moon and here's the sun panning back to the moon where would the shadow be coming from? The shadow is certainly not coming from the earth. That shadow's got a nice curve in it. The curve is pointing towards the sun. The shadow is certainly not coming from the earth. Sun coming up in the east. There's the moon coming up in the southeast. Now some would say, no, silly, uh, the shadow on the moon does not come from the earth, it comes from the sun. But yet, if we look at this, here's this photo that I took this morning. Here it is in my telescope. Um, got it down here in one of my questions. How could we get a convex shadow how would we get a convex shadow if this were coming from the sun? So here we have empirical proof, and it's been repeatable because I've been doing these for months now, uh, where the shadow is obviously not coming from the earth, nor is the shadow coming from the sun. So if I pretend that I'm a child and have that childlike faith, and I say to myself, if this moon were a rock, why is it that I can see straight through it? Um, look at this. I mean, if the sun is shining right here, you should be able to see the moon. And when we zoomed in on the moon, if it were a rock, we should be able to see this area of the moon because the sun is right here but instead we don't see anything and so this lee uh, lends credence to what the bible says it supports what the bible says that is indeed that the moon is its own light now Moses said it Moses received uh, the word by God and in Genesis 1 he said that uh, God made two great lights made two two lights the greater light to, to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night he made the stars also Isaiah also said it And then we have Jesus, who is our Savior, who also said it. It says, immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. Isn't that interesting? I don't know about you, but I'm going to put my faith and my trust in Jesus Christ. And I'm going to put my faith and my hope and my trust and everything that I have into believing that his word is true. Because the evidence, the empirical evidence, the witness in the heaven. You see, you got Moses who declares it. You got Isaiah the prophet who declared it. You got Jesus who declares it. And you also have the moon that declares it. So why don't we believe it?
have a blessed day.